The Drill, How to Avoid the Madness My wife Adia with a close friend for two years. We're married for 12 years and have two kids. They were ready to get married but things crumbled and now they went from lovers to friends. She was not ready to move out of house, so I moved. My kids are with her. I'm following 180 but currently she doesn't want me to go out with my friends or female friends and because of this we had big fight and police came to our home. Because of constant fight, I've decided to move out and even though she sent me email and text, I'm not replying. I know she is still in touch with OM. Reading and find more about her, I was able to know that she is a narcissistic, as I found that narcissistic people of three stages and the moment. She found new supply. I was in the last discarded stage. Knowing her personality and knowing that she cheated, could you share your experience and guide me? Looks like my situation is different that may be the reason no one replied. But here is what I've decided to do. 1. I've decided to get back home and take care of myself and kids. I would like to involve more with the kids' activities. 2. I've decided to file for divorce. 3. I would like to go for sole custody of the kids. Can anyone let me know the issues I've to take care for getting sole custody of kids? I can't leave my kids with my wife. As told already my wife is narcissistic and my son who is just 8 years is already turning into 1. I'm very worried, I need sole custody. Except if cooking my wife is not involved in any other school or kids' activities including hospital visitation, how that is going to benefit me. They've not slept together and there is no bonding but DP I'm working on moving back home and she is moving out. Yes, she is still in touch with other man and that other man is married. Looking into their messages, it looks like they would like to convert their love into marriage which is difficult to happen as the other man has two kids and his wife is fighting like anything. I've exposed to friends and families but as once again I'm saying she is narcissistic and she is very capable of manipulating the people with her charm. The other man wants to back off almost three to four times but she pulled him. I would like to get divorced and move forward. My WS says, don't ask me too many questions. What does don't ask me too many questions infer? I'm trying to understand cheater's languages. I'm very sure she is NPD. The reason I feel is that the way she treated me the moment she found a new narcissistic supply. We've been married for 12 years, with two kids and within no time she was treating me as if I'm not related to her and I was thoroughly isolated from my family. Friends, talking to my relatives they told me that she is an attention seeker and zero empathy. I started searching for answers and then I found that these are the characteristic of NPD. And I was very close to commit suicide but somehow, I avoided. Since I'm staying away from her, I'm at peace of mind. Trust me, I never had such a great mind. Body past 10 to 12 years. She is not interested in going for professional diagnosed because she knows what she is. During the initial phase of marriage, she always uses to tell me not to abandon her. I was surprised by that statement. Now I know why. In current situation, she calls this as love but not affair or cheating. And I also know that the intensity of this affair is too high. All these point to NPD. I talked to the other man's wife. She says her husband got caught in this affair and she also has no idea what might have happened. I'm not dragging my feet. Yesterday one of our friend came to me and told me that she is ready to move out. And I can move in and live with kids. My wife was not ready to move out. I talked to the attorney before moving out. He said that to avoid daily fights arguments. We can live separately. Honestly it is easy said than done. It took me almost four to five weeks to decide whether I should move out or not. If I stayed at home, I was a doormat controlled by an NPD spouse. I'm angry on myself for getting married to this type of personality. I'm wasting so much of wonderful time tracking, finding my ways, worrying about kids. I separated the finance. All credit cards are cancelled. She is in huge debt and she thought other man will help but he is not helping her financially. She works, so health ins for the family is through her. We've two cars, both the cars are bank loan and are in my name. She is using one but she is paying the loan as well as car insurance. We separated our mobile phone account. Normally what will wake up a WS spouse. She works, so financial she is fine. She has support of friends and other man and they're helping her with kids. She finds it difficult to manage the house but she is finding ways out for that. In short, she doesn't need me, so why bother me, is my guess correct? She will not fight for custody since she still believes that we can be together with this OM still in the picture, and me being a doormat. I'm working on moving back home but I want her and friends to know that I'm doing her a favor by moving back. How come she will get the custody just by staying at home? And I'll not get the custody if she leaves and I stay home with the kids. Is it easy for mother to get custody than father? I'm doing 180 but she wants to control me and not allowing me to do 180. I made new friends and she is trying to find who these new friends and trying to cut me off. I'm in a hell. Currently I just have two friends and I've hidden their details from her. Doing 180 after being isolated, controlled for such a long time is so challenging. During argument or fight the more I stay calm, quite the more uncontrollable rage she will show. During one of the argument which went uncontrollable. She bites my arm and she took a knife and was showing me that she will commit suicide and then she spit on me. 
After that I ran out to go somewhere. She came running towards me and started banging the car hood. Please remember during all these times, I was just calm, calm, quiet. Not doing anything. I was in shock to do anything. Then police came and we just told the police that it was just normal argument. I never knew at that time to open up to police. My big mistake. I feel very bad. In fact, her actions have escalated just past couple of days. In one of her chatting message, I found that she is telling the OM. I don't have any control over him as he is not talking. Yes, I stopped talking and that is creating problem for her. Now she is doing a lot of other stuff to get my attention but I'm running away from her. Another interesting fact which I know is that she doesn't want divorce and even if divorce happen, she can't imagine that I can remarry. These things surprise me. That is the reason I have to do many things in secrecy. As I'm writing this, I got her phone call. I'm not lifting the phone. She can email me. The moment I talk to her, she will manipulate me and drain my energy. I'm in touch with a lawyer but this lawyer is either incompetent or just lazy. I've decided to the following. 1. I'm getting a VAR. 2. I'm planning on writing a journal with all day-to-day -day activities of my wife and kids without any feelings. 3. I've all the emails where my wife says that this is love not affair and she is no more my wife. Can these emails be used as evidence of acute NPD for sole custody? But whatever, knowing that my wife has acute NPD, can anyone throw some light how this drama will end? Any guess is fine. I'm getting more curious about the way my wife is behaving. I can tell you with my living with her past 12 years that she is always an attention seeker and I know that if she wants something, she will do anything to get it. And I also know she is a manipulator and very charming lady. She will change her tone, talk based on situation. She knows that I'll always come back to her like a puppy if she wants to. She is very jealous of other women or jealous if someone has more material things in life. I'm very tired of buying her all the luxurious of life. She loves to fantasy land and always want to fall in love. What I learned recently is her zero empathy and the way she discarded me. She openly talked to the OMW about what she feels about OM and in front of me. She has very little understanding of boundaries. And she is using kids as pawn, that is the painful part. And now she started making me look bad person in front of everyone and she is never a bad person. These point to NPD, and I'm sure these are not common addictive behaviors most wayward. I got the best lesson, from my mom. But whatever, my mom is uneducated lady and but she has wonderful knowledge about WS. She told me that if WS send you an email, then you've two choice. Either to respond to that email or not. By responding, you're giving control to WS and by not responding you're having control. So, I'm slowly learning that each and every situation which happens at home. I have to think from two directions. Either WS is controlling or BS is controlling. And I'm understanding that situations like 180 is for BS to get up her hand. Somehow, I have a feeling that my wife takes me for granted. It looks like she thinks that she can come back to me anytime she wants. Looking the latest chat message with other man always point to this direction. What is wrong with me? Am I not controlling the situation or this is the way a WS behaves? My wife wants the family to be together and wants me to forgive her but I still don't see the real remorse in the email and I don't trust her intentions. I'm sure the other man is playing with my wife's sentiments but how to wake up my wife from the fog. I would like to start the divorce papers and shall I discuss the divorce and attorney details with my wife? I don't want to discuss unnecessary things. I hope divorce will wake up my wife. My good guess is that other man and my wife, they don't trust each other. The more I see the chatting messages, the more I feel that they both are just looking for the excitement unless divorce papers hits one of them. I talked to the attorney. He told me to discuss with wife regarding child custody, child support, property division and investments, retirement funds. Shall I discuss these things with my wife? Or I can pay retainer to the attorney and I'll tell him to contact my wife for the details. I know it will be expensive if attorney steps in but what to do. Attorney told me. He was saying that to reduce the cost, the best way is to discuss with wife and come to an agreement but I've decided against that. I'll let attorney do the talking. Another quick help. I and the OMWs have not exposed this affair to many of our friends. Now I'm drafting an email to send to all our common friends. My only worry is that my wife being a narcissistic, will she react with rage? as I know she is very much worried about her reputation. I know I should not worry about her now. Myself being an honest family man and I never knew the real face of my wife. Today I'm surprised and confused with the deception. I've access to WS and OM chat messages and I see what they chat. At the same time, when WS has any problem at home, she almost begs me as if she is in remorse. Honestly by seeing those begging, my heart would have melted but knowing that chat message conveys something else. Make me tough, a very tough situation for an honest BS to be in. With heavy heart I started the divorce ball rolling. Met the attorney, paid the retainer and told her to go ahead with the divorce. I'm almost crying as I'm writing this as the dream of having a lifelong partner and a wonderful family is shattered by selfish nature of WS. Knowing that my kids will never see their mom and dad together hurts so much.
but I have to do this to regain my self-respect and show my kids the right way to handle if they ever encounter this situation in their life. My wife received the divorce notice and now she is all flared up. She is gaslighting me and telling me that I'm the one not working on making the marriage work. She is threatening me that she will make divorce nasty. My wife is working but she says that I have to pay for her divorce lawyer. She is texting that I'm unnecessarily provoking her. She thinks that by filing for divorce, I'm very unfair. I'm not a gentleman and I'm taking advantage of her niceness. She is saying I turned out to be cruel. I'm keeping in contact with her via text or email. My plan was to go back in the marital home after she has served the divorce. I don't know whether my WS has BPD but I know it is very difficult to handle her if I'm at home. She will threaten, cry, will use kids and will do anything to trigger my anger or sympathy. At this juncture, she is involving her parents. Her parents were very silent until now so I'm getting too much pressure to stop the divorce. And I know that unless she has the full consequence of what she has done, she will repeat this cheating behavior. Kids are with her and yesterday she told my son that dad is going to divorce and my son got panicked and started crying. I will lose control over her if I go home because of frequent nasty gaslighting. Just exchanging text messages with my WS, she is ready to give 50 minutes 50 joint physical legal custody but she still wants to know why I should divorce her. Oh, but whatever, the only clause my WS didn't like in the divorce is that she is not getting any alimony. We both earn almost equally and she is ready to quit the job for the sake of alimony so that I can have more financial strain. I don't know much of about alimony though, I'm still learning. My WS wife is asking whether there is any chance for reconcile but I don't know what happened to me, I become very cold and insensitive to her text message. I completely changed from crying H to a very cold person. I don't talk to her and I don't even send any reply to text message. I don't feel like talking or communicating with her. Is it because I feel empowered? Or is this the way BS behave after some time? I just talk to my kids and I'm very happy with my lonely life. Is it normal? She told me she is not in contact with other man. I don't know how I can verify that part though but I do know divorce really created panic for her and she is much more interested in saving her marriage than worrying about other man now. Her parents are very actively advising her. She is going for IC and wants to mend her ways. She promised me to give all her secret email, password, but I'm least interested in those details. Every day I get bunch of text messages from her about why she cheated. She basically wanted to escape the pressure, pain and responsibilities, but honestly, I don't see any remorse. All I see is that she is doing some damage control or just want to protect her and I. A husband of 12 years was her backup. Plan B. Comments. She is still trying to manipulate you. She needs to do the heavy lifting to re-establish the relationship. She now wants you to forgive and forget. If you do, you will regret it. If you want to R, you need to have her write a NC letter. You read it after she is done and if it meets with your approval, you mail it. You need to write down what she needs to do for the management of her life that will show her the actions she needs to take. Why? Do you need it written down? From what you have said, she apparently has a difficult time understanding what she needs to do. This makes it clear to her. Note. Even if she does the above you are not bound to R this is only the first step in her actually showing you that she is not treating you as plan B. If you do not see a change in attitude even if she does the above or if she has done irreparable harm to you emotionally at all means continue with the D. You do not deserve to have been treated in the way she treated you. No respect. You enjoy your lonely life because it's not filled with her drama. I take it you have no desire to stay married. You realize she'll probably end up with the kids, right? You'll get weekend visits and, if you're lucky, a couple days after work. I just want to understand your real goals. It sounds like you woke her up. She may be at a place where she's willing to listen to you and get help, if you were to push it as a requirement for you to come home and not divorce her. OP responds. 1. The reason I lost the desire to stay married is because she disconnected me emotionally from her. During height of her A, I used to come home to talk to her but she used to go directly to bed. And slowly I became very isolated and now I'm fine staying alone. 2. Her frequent gaslighting nature kills me. I can't talk, discuss anything. She always thinks I'm trying to take advantage or do some harm to her. I don't know why. This is another reason I don't want to stay married to her. 3. My real goal now is to focus on my small startup venture which I started and go with full throttle on that venture. 4. I'm tired of detective work on WS. I have two kids to take care of and I have to start a kind of detective work on them. Monitoring the website they visit. Schoolwork. Extra circular work etc. 5. I think two things woke her up. OM left. I don't know the reason though and my filing for D but it still hurts that I was plan B. 6. My WS may not get full custody as she can't drive on highway nor she can drive beyond our current town. So, I'll leverage that as an issue for 50 to 50 physical. Legal custody. Few months later, my WW says that she was searching for true love. Pure love. Painful love so she had an affair. I'm at loss of words to explain these terms. I wish I can buy this in Walmart but I can't. With me handling day-to-day -day carp, the only way she can ever feel true. Pure. 
painful as having an AP. Most of the movies my WW watches has intense love stories, and she will see herself in every heroine. In a day if she watches 10 movies, she will see herself in all the 10 heroines. It was my WW who was forcing the other man to believe that it's true, pure love. And once a while she will ask the OM why he wants to be in this painful love, whereas OM basically wanted to use her. Another major drawback I've seen in my WS is the limitations of hobbies. Except for trying to look young, FB chatting, external validation from married men, trying to rescue men. Women accept her family and watching movies. Her life gets empty very soon. The reason I don't feel like cheating is I keep expanding my hobby zone. I get curious about everything, from music to voyager journey to participating in kids' life. Even though I get enough of external validations for my own talents, but hobbies give me the extra kick I need. The most painful part was the way I was treated during the height of affair. Very painful. I can't forget the emotional distance, silence treatment, abuse, fights and pure hatred for me which my WS had during that period. We're not in R and I can't forgive the affair and her ill treatment towards me. I'll say that it's brutal. I've seen the most cold blood character trait of my WS. No one should be a BS for whatever fault in the marriage may be. Especially she was hand in hand with the OM and the planning and execution was what vaporized my soul. My STBX compares me with other family men. What I meant is that instead of focusing on my ability to provide best for my family, my STBX will compare me with other men. If one family man buys an expensive gift for his wife then I'm the victim and if other family man takes his wife for vacation then again. I'm compared with that man. So, in short, my ability of providing family life is always based on what other family man is doing. I told my wife to compare at the most with only one man and one family but not all the men who are our friends. I can't be all the men at one time. I'm fine with comparison. She knows my limitations. What really hurts me is that the comparison is always with the families who are well-to-do and who have worked hard to come to that position. And I've been compared with so many men. Every man has some good qualities. I can't bring all the good qualities of all the men in me and start satisfying my STBXW demands. She will never compare me with the people on that other spectrum. I mean, we family friends. Where men are too selfish or the man works in other cities and visits his family only during weekends. She is well-qualified woman. She had her roller coaster ride getting settled in her career for which she worked hard. It's almost a year that she found a job which she liked and she makes okay money. I was the one who was supporting her at the cost of my career and my ambition so that as a life partner we both can settle down well. The fact that she reminds me of past roller coaster ride and still compares with other family members especially men hurt me to the core, and at the end blames me for her E as well as for the failure of the marriage. She had seen her father and brother's life. Her father, brother married life is also very moderate success with their own highs and lows but for her the marriage is more of a contract than a commitment. So, I'm here to fulfill her dreams, fantasy and yet she is not happy. Yes, I enabled her because of the sharp tongue she uses and because I was too sensitive to those sharp comments and of course because I loved her. My WW has been pampered a lot, she is a trophy daughter. Sister and so she become trophy wife. As a pampered kid, she learned that by manipulation she can get what she wants. In fact, she herself claims manipulation as excessive compulsive disorder which she has. I was okay with this manipulation as long as material items were concerned because overall it was good for the family but when she went after OM. That's too much for me to forgive. That shows that she has taken her manipulation disease to the highest level. The more closely I observe her, the more I find that she is unhappy. Very very unhappy soul. That is the reason she always goes after material happiness or trying to go for what she doesn't have, always comparing her material standard against other families. Her life is fake, she lives in a fake world, in spite of knowing that real happiness is very much available in the day-to-day -day life. She is in search of elusive unicorn. When OM was in the picture my WW had the complete power over me because she was ready to jump the ship. So she treated me like a piece of crap, and that shows her character when she had power. Pure selfish, self-observed self-centered woman and always about her needs. Weeks later, my STBXEA has caused too much of emotional damage to me. The more I dig the emails and texts sent to me during her EA, the more I get angry. All the emails, text messages to me shows that she is up to something and I was finding it difficult to understand her hints. Few typical hints are I love you but not in love with you. I love someone and I can't be our wife forever. All other nonsense stuff. After reading those stuff, I found that I don't have much impulse control and I started verbally abusing her. During our marriage, my STBX uses a lot of gaslighting techniques which used to cause me to get angry and I almost pleaded with her to stop manipulating me. I found that I don't get angry or verbally abuse anyone else except my STBX. I found that this is my way of conveying my displeasure. I want to stop this verbal abuse behavior. 
So how to stop this verbal abuse behavior and what are the other ways of conveying my displeasure? Months later, divorce finalized, somehow, I feel I lost the drive. I don't know what is the reason for living. It's too depressing but I want to X myself. I lost the purpose of my life. I'm pushing myself very hard by doing yard work, working on fixing my financial mess but still somewhere I feel I'm stuck forever. My comment, OP is suffering because his whole world revolves around her. Bro, get a hobby. Find something to focus on for yourself. That's the first step. Story 2. Little about myself I am 24 years old about to be 25 in 2 days. My wife, 23, and I have been married for three years and she is currently here from Morocco on a visa and got her permanent residency. This was for two years is about to expire in three months. She had left me on New Year's Eve to move into her friend's, girl, house. Which I don't know where it is. She told me she hates the states and doesn't want to live here. And I strongly believe that and doesn't want a green card. I don't think she is having an affair either. I haven't talked to her for about two weeks now and I just sent a message because her birthday is tomorrow and called her too. No answer. I did try the begging to get her back when I saw her within the first week. I have been talked to her mom and she wants us to be together and she told me she didn't talk to a lawyer or anything. I don't know what to do next. I even called some psychics and they told me she is confused, which her mom said too. And she will come back because she is young. I don't know what to do now. Should I talk to a lawyer or wait it out? My parents are very upset about this too and it's causing me a lot of stress. Most of our fights are so small like cleaning the house, laundry and cooking food and stuff like that. Nothing big, it's what you think kids would fight about and that's what we fought about. She packed up her stuff a day before and we had a heated argument and I said why don't you leave then and that's what she did when I was working. She didn't go back to Morocco because she is in school till the summer. So I don't know what she is doing if she was so sure about divorcing me. She would off. She is kind of weird she doesn't use a real Facebook page. She has a different one without her pictures and information only friends that she never met and she keeps talking to them and blogging. I recently found out she reactivated her real FB page and I just recently bought my dream car and I am sure she was spying but nothing yet. I just got her update guys. She just messaged me when I messaged her earlier today saying hey birthday girl wanted to see if I can see you today or tomorrow night for your birthday. She sent no we're separated remember okay. Like that. She responds after a long time she works at the airport. Her mom talks to every day. She complained about money but what couple doesn't complain about that. Our house is paid off. We only have two cars bills at about 1000 a month and I made about 100000 last year. She works part-time 38 hours a week making 9 an hour. I bought her a new car in October and she left it and took her own car which was paid off and is a junker. Now I am stuck with the lease and the car never gets driven. She compares other people when we fight like her sister in Paris getting boatloads of money for shopping and I think about future and don't want to spend 500 bucks for her outfits. I found out today through her mail that her personal bank account overdrafted four times since she has been gone. Should I go put some money in there or what? I don't want her to starve and her parents three weeks ago told me what she did is completely wrong and don't want to support her. I'm stuck at work confused as crap. I am going to talk to the lawyer at 5 today. I guess now I am accepting that is over. She didn't even text me or anything on my birthday. Comments. Dude, you are making good money, have your house paid off and your wife just left you. File those papers, call up the dealership and explain the situation to them. They will sometimes do a lease buyout on special circumstances. Severe change of life may be just the thing. She doesn't feel entitled to any of your stuff, which is a first in my book. I'm not saying go out and get laid, but I am saying get together with some friends and new people and have a good time. Don't put any pressure on yourself except to not drive while impaired and to maintain your job. Work more if you want, but now is the time to get into a new hobby. Anything really. OP responds. Just got an update today. I was minding my business and I had already talked to a lawyer to get the process going. I received a text from the wife saying hi how are you and then three minutes later she said that I will receive mail. First time I talked to her in two weeks. I responded saying sounds good and asked which address she sent it to and went to take a nap and in the middle of my nap I heard knocking on the door and ignored it. She responded saying she was sending it to the house I was at. So, I said I was sleeping and she asked me when I will be there again in the morning. I knew it wasn't her at the door for sure. Does this mean I am getting served? Damn she beat me to it. I guess. Now she texted me that I can pick it up and will send me an address. Yes I am getting served. Something is very weird here. I go to her lawyer's office and is somewhat of a joke. Horrible place to be a lawyer and it says everywhere immigration lawyer. I got the paperwork and it's basically a quick divorce paper. Everyone keeps all their assets she doesn't want support nothing just a divorce. So, I do think reconciliation is out the window but it's weird she filled as soon as she got her green card. The lawyer said you want to sign now or what? I was like no way I'll have my attorney contact you. So, do you think she used me for the green card? Weird situation but yes, I did get served and I am kind of happy she did it instead of me. I hope I was not cheated on. 
I did see on her phone talking to a lot of guys but it's the past now. Since I am young about when I got on this website, I joined another dating website same time, and a couple girls found me and started talking. I don't want to rush into anything but I was very honest about my situation and they basically don't care. In my religion I really can't have a girlfriend but have in the past and these girls are actually very mature. So what is a good time period I should not rush into anything. My lawyer said when I sign the paperwork it should take 10 days to finalize the situation. Very quick process. Update. So, the only people that know about this is my boss and my parents. So we were talking and he wanted to see if the petition was filed through the court system. We went online and nothing. We looked under last name nothing. We look at data filling and there were hundreds. Not us though. I call my lawyer and he is like what is going on. He was shocked. He then requested I text my ex and find out what is happening and figure out if she even wants this or was this a big bluff. I proceeded to text her to see if we can meet. She said we can talk on the phone and told me to call her at 9 p.m. I called her at 9 p.m. and I basically said how are you and stuff like that and wanted to talk about what she filed. I asked her it's been only two months and she said she just got the paperwork done and told her lawyer to sit on it and the copies I received were the only copies that her 2-bit hack attorney had. Basically I think it was a bluff. She was telling me stuff like people get divorced all the time and then remarried, and that we will still talk after. I told her why we don't remain separated until summer and then make a decision. I told her I miss her and want her back and want to go to counseling together. She said she will think about it and I told her also that I would give her space as well. She proceeded to tell me that her roommate has taped her crying in her sleep and she's been emotional lately. She did say about six minutes into the call that she would put the divorce papers on hold and that was just me asking once. What does this mean? Has anyone encountered this before? What if I signed the paperwork? I would have failed the test. Final update. She texted me on set saying she wants me to sign her unfiled paperwork and get it back to the lawyer. She wants a divorce and maybe after she is done with school two years, she will try again. She agreed to meeting me on Sunday. Come Sunday, she cancelled saying she is busy. This is just laughable how I am such a sucker. Called the lawyer today and said duck her paperwork and let's do our own. My dad's friend is an immigration lawyer and we are suing her for damages caused by this or she can forfeit her green card and go home. My lawyer already filed because she lied for benefits. A month later, I signed the divorce papers and gave them to her and I thought she gave them to the lawyer and we didn't have contact. I did hire a PI and see if everything she is saying is true and it actually was no boyfriend just going to work and living with her friend. Woman. Now she hits me with two weeks ago that she doesn't want a divorce and she want to go out on dates with me to see if she wants me back. This is laughable at this point. My comment does not take her back, but I think OP is pretty committed with the papers, so he's good to go. What do you guys think about these two mini stories? Check out the other ones and I will be back with the next one soon.